America's largest grocer, Kroger, is one of the most recognizable chains there is. Chances are you have shopped there at some point for groceries or fresh baked bread. Kroger has grown from its humble origins to becoming a household name. Kroger was founded way back in 1883 by a grocery store employee named Barney Kroger. In his early 20s, Barney Kroger was an employee at the Imperial Tea Company. He wanted to become a partner in that company, but was declined. After being rejected, he decided to invest his life savings of $372 to open a store in downtown Cincinnati. At the time, it was first called the Great Western Tea Company. He renamed it Kroger Grocery and Baking Company in 1902. Grocers who sold bread and other baked goods in their stores would have to buy them from local bakers and resell them. But Kroger recognized that if he baked his own bread, he could reduce the price for his customers and still earn a profit. This not only cut down on the cost of purchasing baked goods, but also revolutionized the grocery store baking industry. Officially in 1901, he became the first grocer in the country to establish his own bakery. Kroger's prices were so low that other business owners were threatened by him. When he began selling his own bread, bakery chains were scared that he would put them out of business. He began receiving death threats from his competition. One of the notes delivered to his home read, If you don't raise the price of bread at once, you will be killed or shot. Kroger wasn't intimidated and kept on expanding his bakeries. He was also the first in the country to sell meat and groceries under one roof. This was a brand new concept. Customers could now go to one store to purchase all of the food items they needed. Before this, meat would be purchased from a butcher, bread from a baker, and groceries from a grocer. Kroger's implementation of on-site meat counters was revolutionary at the time, and again gave them another first. Back in the early 1900s, groceries were typically delivered to the home. The customer would order what they wanted, and the order would later be delivered by a horse-drawn wagon. By 1908, 200 horse-drawn wagons were making regular store deliveries, and Kroger had grown to 136 stores around Ohio and northern Kentucky. In 1916, Kroger upended the delivery system by introducing self-service shopping to the public. This allowed customers to go to the store, shop, and bring the merchandise home themselves instead of waiting for a delivery. Kroger was well known for his dedication to providing consumers with the highest standard. In the 1930s, Kroger implemented the first system of quality checks. This is now something that's expected of stores today, and we have Kroger to thank for that. In the 1950s, Kroger, in partnership with the Gold Bond Stamp Company, established top value stamps. With the pink elephant as their mascot, these became very popular. Customers would receive a set amount of stamps, depending on how much they spent, then accumulated them in books and redeemed them for merchandise. The innovations don't end there. Kroger was also the first grocery store to use electronic scanners, first testing the technology in 1972. The first automated checkout counter was installed in a store in Cincinnati, and visitors from around the country attended the inaugural event. 
When the checkout counters with scanners were added to additional stores, Kroger began to see evidence of increased sales at these stores. If you're a fan of Kroger and living in Cincinnati, Ohio, or Union, Kentucky, you're in luck. These are the homes of the Kroger-owned restaurant Kitchen 1883. Named for the year of Kroger's founding, this restaurant is known for its comfort food, especially their chicken and waffles. Currently, the Kroger chain owns and operates a variety of different grocery stores. These include Dillon's, King Supers, Harris Teeter, Ralph's, and Food for Less. This gives the brand one of the most diverse portfolios in the whole country. Outside of supermarkets, Kroger is the proud owner of Murray's Cheese, a popular cheese shop in New York. Since purchasing the business, Kroger has begun selling these gourmet cheeses in some of their locations, too. One of the more surprising things about Kroger is that they have a fine jewelry division. As the owners of Littman Jewelers and Fred Meyer Jewelers, Kroger actually operates over 320 jewelry stores in 30 states. These jewelry stores can be found in many malls, but also in many Kroger-owned supermarkets. Barney Kroger sold his shares in the company in the late 1920s and passed away in 1938, so he never got to see just how big the Kroger company became. Today, Kroger operates more than 2,500 stores from coast to coast. Barney Kroger invented the modern-day grocery store as we know it. He sold bread, meat, and other staples along with general groceries so customers wouldn't have to shop at multiple stores. He ran his business with a simple motto that the company still abides by. Be particular. Never sell anything you would not want yourself.